So this video explores the practical considerations of student staff partnerships for co-creation using a recent project that John and I worked on and framed through the lens of the co-creation of teaching and learning typology developed by Cathy Bovill. When starting to think about the practical considerations of partnerships and co-creation for learning and teaching, the typology presents several questions to consider and is a useful place to start. It aims to support students and staff in reflecting and discussing planned and current partnership practice. So John, can you just give a very brief summary of the curriculum co-creation project we worked on? Okay, we worked together as a team of staff and students to develop a freely available online open access course to inform the general public on the increasing problem of antibiotic resistance. Okay, so looking at this typology, I'm going to ask the final question first, as I think this is an important consideration um, that we need to start with. So why did you co-create? Uh, this was a social responsibility initiative with the aim of working in partnership with not only students, but uh, also other external partners, including health professionals, patients and charities. Uh, we really wanted to get the message out there about antibiotic resistance. And who initiated the co-creation? Uh, this was staff initiated by an academic who works in this area. And um, what was the focus of the co-creation? This was co-creation of the curriculum. So we developed a course which didn't exist and our student partners would not be studying themselves. What was the context for the co-creation? Uh, it was an extracurricular project. Uh, the students were recruited through the university volunteering hub and they didn't receive course credit for their involvement. How many students were involved? There were seven students, which I think was a good number for this type of project. Did you select the students from a large group or did you involve a whole class? The students were selected uh, as the opportunity was open to the whole institution. However, we accepted everyone who applied. Which students were involved? Uh, they were all current university students. Um, what year of study were the students in? All, again, all undergraduates ranging from years one to three. What was the scale of the co-creation? This was a single project. And how long did the co-creation last? Several months. What was the role of the student in the project? The students were pedagogical co-designers, so they were involved in the learning design and the development of the course. What was the nature of the student involvement? I would say somewhere between involved and partners. And what was the nature of the reward given to students? There was no payment, but their involvement contributed towards the University Stellify Award. Uh, refreshments were also provided. Based on our experience, we've summarised four key practical considerations for starting your student staff partnership project. So they are um, establish the focus of the co-creation project, why you're creating and the role of the student in the project. Create a project plan on a page with the aims and goals of the project and that could include dates and summary of work that you're able to share with students. Consider how you'll invite and engage your students and how they'll be rewarded and also be realistic about the project, what can be achieved within that time frame. It's best to start small and be patient.